So now if you look at this, I'm going to play it from the beginning. And watch the titles. Don't really pay attention to the video that much. So I'm going to play it. Fades in very nice right here. Then it's going to go right here. That looks very nice. Okay? Especially with the videos you're going to probably be putting in of highlights of your current videos. So we've gotten past... Well, no we haven't. We need to also, and one of the most forgotten things, is put in your song. I'm going to put in my theme song right here. Make sure you shorten it to where the video ends. Okay? After you've got the song in there, right click on the first video and click fade in. You can also do this if the video is too bright uh, or th if the music is too bright, I'm sorry, when it first comes in. But for right now, this actually looks very good. Now, in a different situation, if you are doing a tutorial video like I am, so you put in your intro, I'm going to do fun slides, I don't know why I have that picture still, right here. Uh, you're going to extend the song all the way. And this is going to fade the song and your intro into your actual video, so it makes it look like you really spent a lot of time on this video. Okay, so pretend that picture. No, that's not a very good picture. Let's do... Um, crap. Let me find something real quick. Okay, this was the pre-beta of what I used to do for my video. So you're going to put that in. It's going to fade in. This is more of what it's going to be like, okay? So you're going to put that in, you're going to fade it out. And right here, you're going to want to estimate probably where that video ends. You're going to click on the audio, make sure that timeline is still right there, and you're going to click split. Then what you're going to want to do is find your video that you maybe imported from Camtasia or recorded with Hypercam. Um, I'm going to use one of mine right here. This is from WMG, which I can use because I'm pissed at WMG still. Okay? Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to fade out the first one and then take this one, take the volume, and adjust it so it's lower. I'd say about the third little uh, nick right there. Click OK. Now it's going to look pretty quiet. Uh, if you have a lot louder video, you may need to, you'll probably need this level. If you have quieter uh, music, then you can go up a little bit like I'm going to. Just so you can barely see it right there. You're also going to want to fade in this, and also fade it out. So what's basically going to happen here is you're going to be talking in the video that you recorded already, and then you're also going to be uh, having the music playing in the background that was continuing from your intro. That's going to be a lot better for your videos. You're also going to want into, uh, to fade in your video that you imported. Uh, this will actually be shortened because of uh, the length of my video. So it's going to fade in like this. You're going to have the music playing in the background and you'll have you talking and eventually this will die off which is a lot easier if you have and this is very optional if you have a longer video say over ten minutes you may want to take a long song and put it very quiet and uh, extend it throughout the whole video that's uh, primarily up to you so once you have that if you need you're pretty much done but if you need to put anything in between the video, say I'm going to cut it right here. You're going to put, if you want to put a title in, you're going to click on the clip, title before the selected clip. Title animation, you pretty much don't get too fancy with everything. Just uh, keep it inside. Fade and slow zoom is okay. Do not do the news video inset. It is way too freaking obvious and it's just hilarious to see it. It's an immediate turn off. I just close out YouTube completely if I see that. News banner, it's the same thing pretty much. Just don't use it. It's too obvious you're using Movie Maker and it immediately tells me to turn it off. 
Okay, so use a simple fade, like a wipe or something, or just the fade in, fade out. Or you may not think it's good, but just use a basic title so it doesn't fade in at all. That's good in some cases if you're making like a split right inside a video. Sorry. Okay, now what you're going to do is this should automatically be set up. This was uh, my fault. It should you should have something like this, except you're gonna have the uh, Sego UI thing, Sego script, which looks like crap. Okay, so again, you're gonna change the uh, font to what you want. I'm gonna do impact. This is what you must do. Take the background color, change it to black or a dark color, and leave this white. If you do not do that and you leave it the blue or you do something stupid like make it a yellow like that where you can hardly even see it or you make one of the backgrounds red and then you do the color of the text purple. I've seen so many of this it's so stupid. Now that doesn't look too bad because you can read it but it looks like the stupidest thing ever. Anyways, once you have that, put in your title, tech kid, add the title, and it's put in there. But uh, don't use those colors, I forgot to change that, that's okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to continue playing that video once it gets up to here, it's going to change it, and the transitions that it should have, uh, I did my basic one, but even though it has transitions, what you're going to want to do is fade out the video part not the audio and fade in the title and fade out the title and fade in the next video that way it should look a little bit like this okay now the part in the middle may be a little bit longer that's up to you just like the animation is up to you uh... there really is no reason to do you can do whatever you want now this part is a lot more advanced if you want to cut the video to where the audio is still playing but you want to put something else in place of the video you need to click on the uh, title for how long you want it roll over it and remember that duration of 1.23 take the size of what the video looks like and click and split it so this is as close as possible. See, that wasn't close. That was only 0.97. That looks about good. Split it. And this is 1.37, where this is 1.23. That's close enough. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to drag this down into the audio section. If I could get it to work. Oh, yeah. In the audio music section. So what's going to happen is the video is going to be cut off and it's going to switch to the title but your voice is still going to be playing through the audio and music section. It's still going to be playing while that title is going. That's a very important tip. Okay? Unfortunately, Windows Movie Maker in XP for publishing the movie only goes up to about DVD quality. If you have Vista, you can go to this computer, file name movie I guess, and go to more settings and you have Windows Media HD 720p or 1080p. The 1080p is not the full HD because the display size is only 1440 by 1080 where uh, full HD is 1920 by, uh, by uh, 1080. But it still has the aspect ra uh, ratio of 16 by 9. Uh, and then you can press publish for that. Do not go with best quality if you have a bad computer. <laughs> so, you can also compress the video if, say, it has a uh, 10 megabyte uh, upload limit. You may need to change that to whatever you need to. Click Publish, you're ready to go. But we're not done yet. If we need to, I'm going to show you how to use the effects now, actually. One of the most overused ones uh, that I've seen really on YouTube is this one if you have like a title you put it on a title it looks so stupid uh, whoops 
I don't know why I did that. But you put it on a title and it looks like this. It's very, very ridiculous. Uh, but that's it for right now on the videos. Check in for part two coming later. I'll see you later. This is TechKid4473 signing off. She blew everything to pieces. He's there hanging on to Jesus.